Hey guys, welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Hope you're having a great day so far today. We're back here in free mode. We're going to build the best PC we can build for $1,000. That's right, $1,000 is our budget. We're going to build the best thing we can. We're going to try to use all current generation stuff. So... For a Ryzen, it would be the 3rd gen. For Intel, currently in the game, it would have to be the 8th or 9th generation of stuff. For AMD graphics cards, it would have to be the 55, 56, 5700 series. And for NVIDIA, it would have to be the 2000 series. So let's get to it. Let's build a $1,000 PC. Obviously, we're going to start off with the cheapest case in the game because we want to put the most expensive parts in it that we can. Notice the price of this case is off. $33 for the case plus $7 for the fan does not equal $47. It equals $40. So this build will be off by seven bucks because we've got to have a case fan in there. We're not going to take it out. But let's get this case taken apart. Let's get ready. Start putting parts in this thing. Let's get this out of here. We don't need that. We're not putting a DVD drive in there. We don't need that garbage. We don't need it. So let's get a motherboard. We're going to go with ASRock. And we're going to go for a Z390 board. So there's two of them. We can either go with this Z390 Pro 4 or Z390M Pro 4, which is a micro ATX. Or they have the Z390 Pro 4, which is a standard ATX size. They are both the same price at $135. So we're going to grab the regular. Oh. Oh, we have to take this fan out? We have to take this fan out of the way. We're going to grab the standard ATX motherboard. We're going to put that in. Let's go back. Let's get our case fan because we really need that. Uh, it's a Mortoni. Eat away 120. So we're gonna put that back in because we definitely, definitely need that case fan. Let's get this thing ready for one stick of RAM and the CPU. So for the CPU, let's do fits this PC. We're gonna go for the 8600, the i5 8600K. Six cores, no hyper threading. So just six cores. That's it. That is it. For the RAM, we're going to go with the cheapest RAM that we can get. It's a 2133. It's this A-Data Premier Series 8 gig. Because 4 gig really is not enough currently for games. We could have spent a little more money on other things if we'd spent a little bit less and gone for 4 gigs of RAM. But you really need 8 gigs of RAM at least for gaming nowadays. So yeah, it's an ugly green stick of RAM. But hopefully it's going to get the job done. Let's get some thermal paste put on this CPU. We need to get a CPU cooler. So we're going to go with the CryoRig M9i for the Intel version. They also make an AMD version of the same exact thing. Same exact thing. All right, let's come around to this side of the case. Let's get a power supply in there. We're going to go for a 450 watt because if I want to overclock this and get as much out of this build as we possibly can. So we at least need a 450 watt power supply. Most of these, I believe, are all about the same price, somewhere around 50 bucks. We're going to go for the EVGA 450B3 because it'll get the job done. Then we need some storage. We're going to go for the absolute cheapest storage. It's not going to hold many games, and it's definitely not going to load them fast at a 160 megabytes per second transfer speed. This is probably the slowest drive in the entire game. In the entire game. Let's get this thing ready for a graphics card. I was going to try and use... An NVIDIA card. Unfortunately, because they don't have 1650s and things like that in this game, I think the lowest is a 1660 Ti. 
Yeah, 1660 Ti. It's just too expensive. Too expensive. So we went with the 5500 XT. And it was this Gigabyte one. Well, I think it was $5 cheaper than the Asus. Let's see. Let me look at my notes here. It was $390. $390. So there we go. We are at our bed budget right there. Remember, we take $7 off because of the case. For whatever reason, the math is incorrect. So we are exactly at $995 for this build. And we're going to see what we can make this thing do. But before we do that, let's get this cabled up. Let's use... Let's use... um, Let's use these cyan cables because I think Gigabyte lights up cyan. So why not? Why not? We'll add a little color. Add a little color to this. Make it look nice. Let's go ahead and let's grab a USB drive. We'll get that installed. We'll go ahead. Let's put this case back together. Power this thing on. Let's hop into the BIOS really quick. There's not a whole lot we can do in there. But we can overclock this CPU, which we're going to do very shortly. But you can't turn XMP. I mean, we can turn XMP on, but we are at the absolute slowest RAM speed. So let's just let the operating system install. And it's going to be slow. there it is let's go ahead let's just get the 3d mark on here uh, let's go ahead let's put OCCT and we'll get GPU tuner on there in just a moment as soon as this finishes loading up oh my goodness okay <laughs> I was wondering if it was gonna finish let's let this thing restart to get these pieces of software on here and we're gonna go ahead and run a baseline test with 3D Mark and see what kind of score we get. All right, I'm gonna let this run. Probably gonna take a little bit. But as soon as it's done and I have a score, I will be right back. There you have it, 4,507. Not a bad score. Not a bad score at all. But I think we can maybe make it do a little bit better. I think we can. But, before we start overclocking this, I want to introduce you to this PC that I've already built. This is the exact same PC. The exact same thing. Except for the motherboard and the CPU. This has the Gigabyte B450A Aorus M motherboard running a Ryzen 7 3700X. That's an 8-core, 16-thread CPU versus the Intel which is a six core. So I've already overclocked to this as far as I can. The CPU cooler on this thing is incredibly in 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 inadequate. Inadequate, I can't even talk. <laughs> totally inadequate for how much heat the CPU generates. So I couldn't really overclock the CPU, but I did overclock the graphics card. So we're gonna put these computers against each other and see which one does better for the money they are both exactly the same price the motherboard for this for this one was $85 and the Ryzen 7 3700X was 330 so both of these builds are exactly $995 plus the extra 7 that this game throws in for no reason for the fan in the back so like I said this one's already been overclocked we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get a 3d mark running on this thing We'll see what kind of score it generates. I'm gonna step away. I'm gonna get this one overclocked and then we'll get 3D Mark running on it. We'll put them against each other and see what we get. And I'll be right back. All right, so this Intel build, the RX 5500 XT overclocked incredibly well. I've maxed out the core voltage and maxed out the core clock 
no problems. It gets it gets warm, 91C, almost 92C, but it does not crash. It does not crash. Uh, the AMD build, I believe I could only get to about uh, 400 megahertz over on the core clock. So it wasn't quite as good of an overclock, but we'll, we'll put them together and we will see which one does best. I am going to get 3D Mark running on this Intel build and we will see what the score is. I will be right back. All right, there you have it, 5,237. Originally we got 4,507, so we got quite the increase. I don't know if I stated it before when I was telling you about the overclock on this, but I did also overclock the CPU on this one, on the Intel build. I was able to go from 4.3 gigahertz to 4.6. So that may have helped a little bit, but again, only six cores on this. Let's go take a look at this AMD build. Even though we were unable to overclock the CPU with a little bit better cooler, we totally could have. So in the real world, if you were to build this same build, I'd say get a better cooler for your CPU and you could definitely overclock that thing and get an even higher score than this. But this one got 5,525. They're pretty dang close, but this thing's got eight cores, 16 threads versus just six cores. So my money, if I were building one of these in real life today and these prices represented exactly what you could purchase things for online at this time, my money would be on the AMD build all the way. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Be sure to wash your hands. And I will see you in the next episode.